we got a uh, printed manual of Snoopy and the Red Baron for uh, the Atari 2600. It's kind of cool because they made this like into a cartoon style. This isn't the official manual. Like you can see the staples here. I've got this online because, you know, as much as I'd love to have the real manual, it's kind of tough to have like the real thing. So we'll get some mood music going and uh, we'll go in through and read some of the wonderful manual that is for Snoopy and the Red Baron. Here's a World War I flying ace ready for another dangerous mission. This time he will recover the stolen treats. So your gameplay. Uh, I think it's funny because they always give you a note up here. I apologize for the small print, but it's about telling you that you should always switch it off when inserting or removing the Atari cartridges. Um, here's your gameplay and here's your task is to help Snoopy shoot the Red Baron down and recover as many stolen treats as possible. Be careful, though. The Red Baron is a skilled aviator and sharpshooter. When you least expect it, he could riddle the Sopwith camel with bullet holes. That's funny. Use your joystick to fly Snoopy's Sopwith camel through the air and catch falling treats. Press the red fire button to shoot Snoopy's twin machine guns. You start the game with four Sopwith camels. It takes eight direct hits to bring the Red Baron down. Likewise, Snoopy will lose a sop with camel if eight, he gets hit eight times by the Red Baron. See figure one. Uh. You can play up to four game variations, including pilot and training, pilot first class, skilled aviator, and ace. Basically, it's like four difficulty levels. Uh, red, each variation requires Snoopy to shoot down three, four, or five Red Barons in a round. And that's the game variations. It says see it for details. Snoopy must use the strategy to recover the stolen treats from the infamous Red Baron. Sometimes when the Red Fokker trip plane flies off the screen, it flies a loop to loop and drops a treat, giving Snoopy the chance to catch a treat as it falls to the sky. To catch a falling treat, position Snoopy's sop with below. Uh... Red Baron has nasty tricks. Sometimes he'll drop if a skull and cross, crossbones drops and appears. Don't try to catch it. Catching a, a skill and cro a skull and crossbones, right, will cause Snoopy to lose all of the treats accumulated in the round. But you will score points if you shoot it. That, that's kind of hard to do, though. I just love the fact. Look at the artwork that they put in this. I mean, it's like almost reading like a cartoon, which is kind of cool. Uh, here you go. As the dogfight begins, Snoopy shouts, Curse you, Red Baron! This time, he will bring the enemy down. You score points for shooting down all three, four, or five Red Barons in the round. When the round ends, you go to the treat screen, and Snoopy earns bonus points for each of the recovered treats. The allies will be so proud of their hero for recovering their precious supply of goodies. If Snoopy shoots down all the Red Barons in the round... The treat screen will show you your bonus points and how many treats have been recovered and the number of destroyed Red Barons. However, if Snoopy loses a sop with Camel, he will lose all of his accumulated treats for the round, including the last round of the game. However, he will not lose any shot down Red Barons. So here's kind of your treats. You can get dog bones, supper dish, or root beer, popsicles, hamburgers, popcorn, ice cream cones, and pizza. Well, you know, 2600 style pizza anyway. Here's the, your directions on using the controller. Plug one joystick controller into the left controller jack. Hold the joystick with the red button to your l upper left. See, it's funny because they're telling you don't be left-handed. Uh, <laughs> towards the television. See your owner's manual for details. Snoopy flies in the same direction that you move your joystick. Press the red fire button to shoot the bullets at the red baron. There's your console controls. There's the game select switch. Uh, press the game select switch until the game you want appears at the top of the screen. So you get like one through four. And that's the game variations. And the game reset will begin your game. Snoopy can play a practice game without scoring any points and without being shot down. Then press game reset to start a point scoring game. The game reset to restart the game during play. So you can reset it if you're not doing well. The right and left difficulty switches are not used in this game. So, difficulty switches on your Atari are not used. It's difficulty just by selecting. Rawr! Fantastic. Look at that. Of course, the bone is red, but that's okay. 
Here's your game variations. You know, game number one, two, three, and four. So game three actually requires you to get five Red Barons, which is funny. Game four only requires you to get three. Oh, well, that's kind of strange. And then game one and two require you to get four. So you could choose three, four, or five Red Barons. The easiest version is pilot and training. Game four, the most difficult version for aces, is game three. See, it doesn't go in order, which is kind of bothersome to me, because you think, why not just put them in order? One, two, three, four, four being the hardest, but game three is the hardest. Well, we kind of figured that out looking at this anyway. All right, here's your scoring. Your score is shown at the top corner of the screen after scoring 999,990 points. Not 999. Uh, every million points will be indicated by a different colored exclamation point. So you get an exclamation point if you score high enough. I haven't reached that point yet. It's, it's harder than it looks, and you'll see. Uh, you score points for shooting the Red Baron down and for catching treats. You earn a Gold Baron for every 50 Barons shot down. And you can earn extra Sopwith Camels up to 99 for catching all the treats on the screen at the end of each round. Your treats, Red Barons, and bonus points are shown on the treat screen when all the points are calculated. Press the fire button to take off for yet another heroic encounter with the infamous Red Baron and his infamous Falkar Triplane. So here's your Red Barons hit. Red Baron shot down. Each treat... And then all treats. And you get a bonus doghouse. Here's your helpful hints. Get the Red Baron. When Snoopy catches a treat, the Red Baron will quickly come after him. So as soon as he catches a treat, fly away. If you get hungry while playing this game, wait until the treat screen appears. Then you have a few minutes to run out and get yourself some root beer and pizza. However, when the marching music begins to play, it's reminding you that your time is running out. Press the red fire button to resume the game, but if you don't return to the game soon enough, the Red Baron will steal the treats, and that will end the game. What? That's one of the craziest hints I've ever heard. That's... Oh. The Red Baron is, care is a crafty aviator. Sometimes he will fly up into the clouds, where Snoopy does not have dare to roam. So fly Snoopy down towards the mountains to entice the Red Baron out of the clouds. That that's true. I've played the game, and that's kind of how it is. The last hint is try to stay behind the Red Baron. He cannot shoot backwards, which is true. And that's kind of the last page there. So that's, well, that's my printed manual. And that's Snoopy and the Red Baron. Let's give this game a fun try, shall we?